Dear students, welcome to my channel, Dr. V. R. Pudili's MBA, BBA and Economics Lessons. I am doing a series of videos on methods of measuring national income. In this video, I am dealing with product method, which is also known as value added method. Methods of measuring national income. One product method or value added method. There are three popular methods of measuring national income. They are one product method or value added method, two income method and three expenditure method. Let us now deal with product method or value added method. In this method, the value of all goods and services produced in different sectors during the year is added up. This is also known as the value added method. In product method, there are three steps in computing the national income of a country, they are 1. To identify the producing enterprises and to classify them into sectors. 2. To estimate net value added of all the sectors to arrive at net domestic product at factor cost. And 3 to estimate net factor income from abroad which has to be added to net domestic product at factor cost to arrive at national income of the country. Let us deal with these different steps of measuring national income in product method or value added method. 1. To identify the producing enterprises and to classify them into sectors. Broadly speaking, sectors in an economy are divided into three categories, namely 1. Primary sector, 2. Secondary sector and 3. Tertiary or service sector. 1. Primary sector. It includes agriculture and LED activities of forestry, fishing, mining and quarrying. This sector produces commodities by exploiting natural resources like coal, iron ore and other minerals. In India, the primary sector is divided into 1. Agriculture, 2. Forestry and logging, 3. Fishing and 4. Mining and quarrying. Two Secondary sector, it consists of the manufacturing sector. In India, the secondary sector is divided into 1. Registered Manufacturing 2. Unregistered Manufacturing 3. Construction and 4. Electricity, Gas and Water Supply 3. Tertiary Sector or Service Sector It consists of the services. In India, service sector consists of 1. Railways 2. Transport by other means and storage 3. Communications 4. Trade, hotels and restaurants 5. Banking and insurance 6. Real estate, ownership of dwellings and business services 7. 
public administration and defense and eight other services step number 2 to estimate net value added of all the sectors to arrive at net domestic product at factor cost after identifying the sectors of an economy the next step is to find out net value added of each of these sectors the term value added refers to addition of value by a producing unit to raw materials and services known as intermediate inputs used in production what a producer produces is termed as the output value added is the difference between the value of output and the cost of intermediate inputs dear students i had given a table showing the calculation of value added in this table there are five columns in the first column i have taken serial number of the sector in second column i have taken sector third column cost of total output fourth column cost of intermediate inputs and fifth column is value added we had already defined above that value added is the difference between cost of total output and cost of intermediate inputs and i had shown the same thing in the last column in the second column i had taken primary sector secondary sector and tertiary sector in case of primary sector cost of total output is 30 and cost of intermediate inputs is 10 value added is equal to cost of output minus cost of intermediate inputs 30 minus 10 is equal to 20 similarly i had calculated value added for secondary and tertiary sectors for secondary sector cost of total output is 70 and cost of intermediate inputs is 45 value added is equal to 70 minus 45 25 similarly for tertiary sector cost of total output is 55 and cost of intermediate inputs is 25 and value added is equal to 55 minus 25 that is equal to 30 we can observe that for total economy from all the three sectors cost of total output is 155 cost of intermediate inputs is 80 value added is 155 minus 80 that is equal 75 dear students in calculating national income in product method we take 75 instead of total cost of total output of 155 in this method step number three to estimate net factor income from abroad which has to be added to net domestic product at factor cost to arrive at national income of the country net factor income from abroad consists of three parts namely one net compensation of employees two net income from property and entrepreneurship three net retained earnings of resident companies abroad dear students points to be kept in mind while estimating national income by product method include one production for self consumption has to be included in national income two imputed rent in case of owner occupied houses has to be included in national income three sale and purchase of second hand goods do not constitute a part of current production and are not to be included in national income dear students in this video we had learned about first method of measuring national income that is product method which is also known as value added method thank you